I am just, I saw this, you know how much I paid for this? I paid $6.50 for this. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. Sometimes I go picking with my boyfriend, sometimes it's my best friend Sue, and sometimes it's my kids. But at the end of the day, it's all about having fun and hopefully just maybe making a profit. If you saw my shopping video yesterday, you've probably been waiting very patiently for my haul video. I've decided on a new format where I will be posting my shopping videos, and then the following day I will be posting my haul videos now that I'm transitioning my shopping videos from my Relic Recoveries channel back over to my Crazy Lamp Lady channel. So, this is everything that I bought in my most recent shopping video. We've got a nice mix of stuff, and I actually wasn't expecting a whole lot because I'd been out for lunch with my friend, and I was just like, you know, what there's a goodwill right next door I've got my camera in the car let's go see what we can find obviously we lucked out because we found a lot of stuff and we found some good stuff I was really pleased I was so excited anyway let's go over everything we got we're gonna talk a little bit about what we found what we paid for it and what I think I can get for it so without further delay here we go Let's start up front here. Um, you can't really see that. I'll, I'll, you know, lay over some good close-ups for you because you're probably like, I can't see that far. But, you know, we got a lot of stuff laid out here on the table and I had to push the camera back so you could kind of get a good idea of everything we got. So here we have some Culver glasses. Now, the more recent Culver glasses had stickers on them, so they're kind of a little bit harder to identify because people would put them through the wash, they'd, you know, and the stickers would fall off. These are the older Culver glasses because they are marked Culver in the design. Uh, I'm debating whether I want to try to pick them up. I'm going to end up dropping them and shattering them all. There are five of them here. They have like a winter scene, a sleigh and like a little cabin with the smoking chimney and snow and stuff. I love them. I think they're fantastic. Now there are some listed on eBay right now. There are no sold listings, which freaks me out a little bit, but not too much. So. Um, looking at what everyone else is asking for them and taking that into account, I think I can safely ask about $5 a piece for them. I paid $3 for all five. I'm thinking I can ask probably 25, 25 to 30 and be safe. Um, it's way lower than everyone else is asking. So I'm just going to like slide right in there and just knock them all down. Cause that's how I roll. <laughs> all right, moving right along. Um, here we've got some milk glass mugs. Oh, you guys know how I sing the tune of milk glass. I love milk glass. Mugs are a different story, okay? Vases, just little bowls of milk glass. Thingies are just different. These are mugs. These are nice patriotic flag mugs, okay? <laughs> I paid a dollar a piece for these. And they're worth about $7 a piece. I did all right. Um, they're all exactly the same, so there's no reason to like pick up multiples and show you. Just patriotic milk glass mugs. Can't go wrong there. Drink your coffee out of those every morning and you'll be like Merca. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> I've got this little Japan spoon rest. It doesn't say Japan anywhere on there, but I'm making assumptions again. It's just a little teddy bear spoon rest. He does have a chippy ear. Now, if Drew was with me, he would have been like, Jocelyn, put that back. It has a chip on it. You know, I tend to see past the chips and the cracks, whereas Sue and Drew are like, Jocelyn, come on, let's be real. Put that back. You know what, guys? I like him. He's coming with me. So I paid a dollar for him. I probably asked like 10 bucks because he's cute. And he's got this little red glob on his cheek. It's like a birthmark. I'm not really sure what's happening there. But I think he's cute. <laughs> I think it really adds character. Just like the little little nick on his ear. Which is an old nick, by the way. It's not a fresh one because it's got a little patina on there. Yeah, okay. I bought a ring stick. <laughs> Why, you ask? Uh, everyone needs one. It's just a thing that everybody needs. It's carved... Got an eagle carved on the top. 
Honestly, I have no idea what I was thinking. I just picked it up and I said, ah, I need one of those. So the next time it rains and I can go out in the backyard and freak out all the neighbors with my rain dance, right? Um, I paid $3 for it. I have no idea what I was thinking. Just give it to the children and then eventually they'll annoy me to the point where it'll get lost in the abyss above the fridge where all the whistles and all the other annoying little noisemakers disappear too. You know what I'm saying? All the other parents. I know you do. Okay, moving on. Uh, let's talk about this cake dome that I bought for seven dollars now this is weird okay it's made in portugal it kind of has that it, i don't think it's very old let me preface it by saying i don't think it's very old it kind of has a feel to me like i don't know kind of like franciscan ivy or franciscan desert rose they have cake domes and it kind of has that same uh, to it design I guess is when the word I'm looking for. I don't know. I don't think it is, but I liked it. <laughs> now there are no other examples on eBay that have sold. There is one listed for $50. I would probably list mine around 45 to $50 too, just because that seems to be going right. So it's really nice. It's got, it's like a cream. It's got a matte and then it's got like a shiny glaze. It's very cute. I would eat cake out of it, just saying. Okay, moving on. I've got, oh gosh, you're gonna love this one. Trash can cat. Okay, yes, I got a trash can cat. I didn't realize it when I picked it up. I was so focused on the cat. And I'm sitting here going over my stuff, laying it all out on the table before I started the video. And it occurred to me that not only is this a cat planter, but the cat is hugging a trash can. And I thought to myself, trash can cat. What more can anyone <laughs> It's Merc Japan, of course. And it appears to me that this is a trash can. It's got two handles on it. It just doesn't have a lid. If it had a lid, it would just be perfect. Um, this is a cat hugging a trash can. <laughs> I would probably ask like between $15 and $20 for this because it's a planter of a cat and it's from Japan. Trash can cat. That's right. Adorable, right? I don't know if you would want to plant stuff in there or maybe you could like use it on your desk and put a little trash bag in there and just throw your desk trash in it. Like, oh, don't need this post-it note anymore and throw that in there. <laughs> He's cute. <laughs> oh, I crack myself up sometimes. All right, this is gonna, you're gonna be like, oh, ring light, hello. Uh, this is not very old at all, but I liked it. <laughs> It's actually still got the sticker made in China on it. It, has, it actually says International Silver Company. Maybe it's silver, but doubtful. Okay, so it's got a mirror on here, but it's also got pressed flowers all around the edges. I liked it. I thought it, it was really, I say this word a lot, I thought it was cute. But then I came across this, which is a little pressed flower box that goes with it. I paid a dollar for this, I paid three dollars for this, I would probably ask between 20 and 25. Because that seems to be the going rate for those. Very nice on a dresser table. You could put your jewelry in here, you could put like a little vanity bottle or something. Adorable. Okay, let's talk about the lamp. Now, if you watch my shopping video, you know that I go through the lamps and it's just this rapid fire of 80s, 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 modern, blah, 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 blah. And if you watched my most recent shopping video, you saw, I went through, I saw this lamp, I grabbed it. I didn't really say a whole lot about it. I just said, I like that style. And I look, kind of looked it over, didn't say a whole lot, grabbed it. Now, this lamp right here is Laurel Company. <laughs> Laurel Lamp Company. It is a tulip style lamp. It is, I guess you could say a designer lamp. Not really, it's made by Laurel Lamp Company. Uh, a pair of the white ones sells for about $250. Now, I like the white ones more personally, my personal taste. The metal is great, but when I saw the lamp, I saw the lines of the lamp. Like I'm trying to explain to you guys what I look for when I look for stuff, and I'm usually pretty good at it, except for when it comes to lamps, because I'm just in my own 
like world when I'm looking at lamps and I try really hard to explain to you guys okay this is what I'm looking for this is what I'm looking at in the case of this lamp this was my thought process okay my first thought process was look at the shape of that lamp okay so I, at first I saw the shape of the lamp I loved the lines of the lamp I thought instantly mid-century modern that was my very first thought my second thought was look at the cord so I saw the cord second oh, I saw the cord second now the next thing I did was I looked at the bottom of the lamp to see if it had any marks on it. Now it looks like somebody had removed, there would have been probably felt or some sort of uh, material down here so that it won't scratch the surface. Somebody obviously removed this. I don't know if maybe it got moisture damage. It looks like there may have been some rust or that could be adhesive, uh, but it was removed. So I don't know if they possibly could have been looking for a maker's mark because they were like, oh, that's a very nice lamp. Anyway, so I paid five dollars for this lamp this lamp could sell between it's a single lamp so it's not going to sell for as much if i as if i had the pair and it's not going to sell for as much as if i had a pair with original shades that's what i'm trying to explain to you guys original shades are so very important and pairs are important but when you break it all down and you like you don't have the pair and you don't have the original shades and you get down to oh i've got a lamp with no shades and no pair and it's a lamp um, you kind of whittle away at that value. Now, I paid $5 for this lamp. This lamp right here would probably sell between $50 and $75 in the shape it is right now. Now, there's no oxidation on it. That's very, very important. You guys send me a lot of pictures of lamps, and, and it has oxidation. I mean, that's not always, like, super important depending on the lamp, but it's important to look at how much oxidation is there. Does it affect the aesthetic of the lamp? Super important. Okay, moving on though. We're going to move on from lamps. So this lamp is a good lamp. It was one of the newer lamps on the shelves. You guys know I go through those lamps every single time I walk in there. And you probably know, oh, those are all lamps we've seen before. This one was not there before because I would have seen it. So... Okay, um, this tray, I don't know if you guys can see this tray. I'm gonna try to move stuff around. Can you see? Ooh, <laughs> one of these days, you guys know it's gonna happen. Um, I bought this tray. Now, I never really sold anything of this size. Drew keeps telling me, we're gonna get boxes that this stuff fits in so you can sell artwork and stuff. And I'm like, oh, okay, because I'm, I'm, I usually steer clear of artwork unless it's small. You guys probably have noticed that, except for that watercolor, but it's still not listed on my Etsy store because I'm scared to ship anything that weird size. I don't know how to handle that shipping. See, I, I'm afraid of things and I'm afraid of that. Um, this is the Dodge size too. I paid $4 for it. It's a coffee time tray. I love coffee. Look at my shirt. You guys know I love coffee. I've had like seven cups today. If you can't tell, I'm super wired right now. Um, <laughs> I like this. I honestly, I don't know how much it's worth. I'm thinking I could probably get twenty-five to thirty dollars for it because it's vintage and it's funky and it says coffee on it. And if I price it like that and it doesn't sell, I'm just gonna keep it because I <laughs> price stuff high when I want to keep it. If someone buys it and wants it more than me, that's perfectly fine. But that's usually how I operate. <laughs> If you want it more than I do and you want to pay the price that I put on it, that's fine. Now, let's talk about my... Oh, wait! No, before we get to that, I'll be right back. I almost forgot. almost forgot to show you guys. If you saw the video, you already know. I'm going to trip over something. Wait. Oh, stepping on my chair. Ah, okay. Recognize this? I found the center candlestick that I bought the other day. You remember I bought the really tall one and I bought the really short one and I found the one that goes in the middle. I'm so excited about that. So these are crystal candlesticks. If you watched my haul video the other day, I was going through and I had found a really big one and a really little one and I was so mad because I was like, oh, there has to be pairs here somewhere. But now I found the middle tier. So they were tiered candlesticks and they are crystal and I have the other two up in my stock shelves that my dad built for me. I'll show you someday when I give you a tour of my space after I get it cleaned up because there's stuff all over the floor. It would be really embarrassing right now. You saw me have to climb over. Yeah, I've got stuff down there. 
I was really excited about that. So I had to share with you. Now this, this is another thing I'm super, super excited about. And actually, I, I'm not, it smells like grandma too. I love that smell. Okay. This is fantastic. Now, I'm not sure if you would consider this a coverlet or if you would consider this crocheted or knotted or I don't, I don't even know. I'm going to show you. I'm going to give you a close up of it. Check that out. How beautiful is that? I absolutely love this. Here's the reverse. I am just, I saw this. You know how much I paid for this? I paid $6.50 for this. I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of teasing you a little bit because I don't know yet if I'm going to sell it. I might sell it. I might put it on my daughter's bed. I'm, I'm still not decided about it because <laughs> I just absolutely love it. Um, I'm just, I'm still up in the air about it. I feel like I like it a lot. So if you have any information on it, I'm not really into textiles. I do know a little bit about them. But if you know textiles and you can tell me a little bit more about this, maybe you know the method in which it was made, if it was knotted, if it was crocheted. Maybe it was stitched even because of the back. Yeah, I'm just not sure. So I'd be curious if you could give me more information on that. I learned so much from you guys. I mean, I know that you are all, that a lot of you say, oh, I learned so much from you, but you don't understand that a lot, a lot of the times you guys are teaching me stuff and I just love it. Soak it in. <laughs> but anyway, that was my haul video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to go check out the shopping video that I posted yesterday. I'll put a link to that down in the description. And um, yeah, I think that's about it. But I will catch you guys next time. Trash Kids Cat says, so long. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you've spotted something that you just can't live without, don't worry. I've put a link to our Etsy store down in the description.